two legends of the sport, Jimmy White and Stephen Hendry. Taking over the commentary, myself, Dave Hendon, and Neil Folds. Not a good start for Jimmy White. I thought he looked... And he's in the second round. He's just got that bit of breathing space now. Yeah. Hendry trying to get into them. Didn't quite come off. Such a dramatic end. He got the snooker. Eventually knocked in the black at the second time of asking. So Didn't the owner's now on Jimmy White. Yeah, a little wince from Hendry. He's knocked in plenty of those issues. I don't know what Joe's done to the uh, commentary box. <laughs> but rest assured, he will be with us shortly. I think there's plenty of time to hear from him. Yeah, he can really pull away, take the pressure off himself. Wasn't a... Things can happen yet. We're not even halfway through. There's a possible seven frames remaining. Now, I could do with this cue ball slowing up. Nice. And there's the brown going in. Stephen Hendry doing that. Just suggested to me, well, I was going to say that he relaxed a bit, but Stephen Hendry that's not going to run their own pasts. They're playing their own memories. Jimmy White has plenty of golden memories in this. Yes, they were watching it. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of made a point earlier that I thought that as it was a pretty horrible start both players struggling but the match will take some shape here they've both had a bit of time now to regroup so we'll, we'll see what transpires but I think if Jimmy had been 3-1 up and forevermore until he made his comeback Jimmy White he's playing his way their own past as well as each other here but there's a match to be won that's a bad shot, that really is, uh, from, from uh, I mean, What you can say about this match, one. Dave, is that um, no, no one is knocking. But of course, as the match gets... There. I think he would have seen but he didn't leave the red available as we saw weren't that commonplace in those days Stephen Engie was still a teenager at that point and Jimmy was a young man step closer to the crucible I guess uh, one thing about this match you can say is that uh, going into it, there was more pressure. You know, I was going to beat him, especially this man, of all people, would, would hurt him. It's not happened yet. Why? Yeah, because the amazing stat emerged, Dave, didn't it? That I think that's one thing. Played well in that match. But as he flukes a red, one thing Stephen Hendry will have to contend with is that, you know, he's not, anyway, should be in a snooker now. Yeah, although point. it appears he's got to miss this red that he's close to. Uh, he didn't want to hit that one. He wanted to pass it and hit one of the. Leo Scullion just keeping watch there with the brown. Why? Thought he might just touch the yellow and play the other Doesn't side of it, leave yeah. the awkward queuing. It does seem fitting, though, that it's a bank holiday Monday. Of course, that's when so many of the finals concluded. Yeah, and the thing about that... 
Jimmy might need a bit of cover here. He's not. Obviously, these matches last year were cut to best of 11. That was a better shot than it looked if he's got the cube. Easy here for this safety shot. Pretty good. Wow. He's been clear a shot at the red, but he's got to be careful he doesn't hit the, the blue with his cue on the way through here. Wow. It's a pretty good shot. Oh, that's, that will hurt him. Even Hendry one. Yes, he will much. I think he can do a bit more this, than what he thinks. One. Well, well things going from back. Got good direction. It's a little bit pacey. One. He's not done that. Seems ever so more likely that he's going to need the pink. Than... Goodness, he's hit the yellow. Five. Hit the yellow on the way through. One. Nine. Feel, you feel like he has to win this frame. Jimmy White. Yeah, he's missed a few rest shots, right, or six, certainly eight. a couple tonight. One. Early in the final backswing is seems never to end. Stephen Hendry, eight. That's not too bad. What a picture that was, Jimmy White. Five. And Eight. even though it's not a high... Yes, Dave, I think the problem is Six. his game, but he's losing these frames with Henry not even playing well. Next one's even bigger. Stephen Hendry moving closer to a place in round two, qualifying for the World Championship, but decided Elite 4 1. I think it's a very interesting rivalry because it's not about hype, as does the UK Championship, but when we think of them, we think of the Crucible. And when we think of the Crucible, we think of Hendry winning those four five. Well, we've hit the wrong side of that one, so that's not going to make him feel even any better. Even together, how does he feel, one. and what will he make here? 
could tell us. Seven. Fourteen. Practice table and what we're seeing tonight are poles apart. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. But you, I think at the moment, this is the cleanest frame it's out there. Cheering on the comeback. Forty-five. At least. First half century then of the match for White. Fifty-two. Oh, he was going so well. There would have been a time, certainly, in, in this man's career. won't be easy. But there aren't. That was very... That's okay. Clearances. All about the positional side here. What he does when he hits the black. Uh, he's not. Well, now he's done the hard work. It's played that very well. well this feels the five one up the match would not be one, but goodness me. starting to look confident till he missed that red. Fifty-three. Fifty-nine. So that is the Stephen Hendry. Stephen Hendry. We remember well the fashion in which he won it. It was.
he's in the second round. And Jimmy White, barring another wild card, will be off the tour. Well, when he came to the... I think in, in all of the likely positions. And similarly, the ones you lose like that, the one that Jimmy lost, they hurt. Although there'll be a lot of Jimmy White fans who just... ...qualifying for the whole 10 days and indeed the whole 17 days at the Crucible as well. Tomorrow, Ken Doherty's on in the morning. Sorry. Now the problem with that shot, the kid was always heading tomorrow. Even Hendrick Yes, I see what he did there. Very good. <laughs> it's late enough, I think, for a joke <laughs> like that. Yeah, there's all sorts of hopefuls. Of course, there's legends of Crucible. Not at play. Well, it's not over, is it yet? But the last frame. So, you know, he's not officially off if he loses this match, but in all likelihood he would be. I think yeah. a Andy. Eleven centuries in that match. Sixty. Well played. Twenty-four. Beautiful. Maybe the hold for the, the blue instead. Then that last frame with the clearance. But for that, it could be a lot closer in terms of the scoreline. 56. Angle here, and he's going to hit the red. It's a question of whether it will finish. Oh, that's well, it's the same break as the last frame 58. Point. A shot at this year's world championships might not be the case, but there's not much you can do sitting in a chair. Stephen Hendry five. Oh, I miss. Stephen Hendry. Point. That ace shouldn't really have been this low on the black. Got to get the gap between yellow and brown. Good shot. Could recover. No. No, he didn't look entirely comfortable on it and got nowhere near it. behind the black instead which doesn't really yeah, sit easily with him but
Not that. Sort of reluctance to play safe most of the time. Oh, he's surprised. He's surprised at that. And the blue here, which is the reason he had to get the red to hit a colour to stop. Uh, and a friendly one because when Hendry came along I think Jimmy thought great someone plays the game similar to the way I play it pocket from distance got nowhere near it wow. so as I say he just thinking about all the players over the years Dave that you know, throwing away big leads by making big mistakes, or whatever. Yeah, it just saw the winning line and, and 93 beat White 18 5 with a session to spare. Just raced across the winning line, but as I say, you know, he's been out of action competitively for a while. Anyway, a swallow and hit the black. Well, oh, he doesn't want to leave a free ball either. Stephen there will be no miss called. Because we're at the snooker's required stage, so to this frame, because it's now only one snooker. This really would be the final nail, wouldn't it, in the coffin? Well, Dave, earlier on we saw a frame. This one earlier in this match, there's always some glaring ones I've forgotten. I'm sure, but I can't remember many frames that were one like that. One of our friends. Uh... Enough. <laughs> that, that is one. I don't remember it, but I'm sure it's correct. But it's not something again that, that we remember him doing in the way that Mark Selby and. Oh, what about that? What about that? Two, and this could still be. One of our Twitter correspondents, Stephen Kelsall, said that... Uh, oh, another fluke. Why? Well, I think you're not, not so sure, but... Jimmy Hoyt? But Why? In fact, he played at the Crucible at the age of 70 in 1984, the year Jimmy got to his first final. Yes, I remember when I was first... Sort of play, ..said that he didn't ever bother practising anymore. He was just playing exhibitions and matches. Between it, he didn't play. And he was still playing at a good level. Anyway, in that goes... Fine. Well, he's played it Even Henry won. terribly. That's quite a good shot this time. Play. Had a problem with his game. The sort of yips, as it were. He just had enough of losing. Having been, of course, so used when he was 12 and saw a snooker table in the window and she bought it as a sort of just a bright idea about four or five years later he was playing at the crucible got though down the right side with the cue ball well done
almost every red move there. That was. Why? That's a good shot. That's he's in, he's in the fairly strong position in the frame. And red, but it's so difficult to land in there. Well, One. Uh, my down towards the left side. Give me right. One. And it's a red. So, Jimmy White. With a chance here in frame eight to One. take the lead. Oh, oh no, he's miscued. Wow. Wow. Q come. Stephen Hendry gets the chance. this one if you can just focus on keeping things as simple as possible this is a good Eight. chance He's doing something he didn't want to do and that was to play safe and uh Henry. oh nothing wrong with that one though one Don't think that one. Uh, at this current time. Eight. Seven. Just thinking there's pretty much red. But that is a great shot. No need to play the snook. Yep. 24. Played it well. So that makes a big difference. 29. He's got a hold for the brown. They've done well. So the I'm not sure, Neil, the plot could be any thicker. Considering, as I say, the turmoil that Jimmy was clearly in, but he's produced this break. Hendry needs a snooker, yeah, otherwise it's 5-3. Well, you say that the plot couldn't be any thicker. If it goes right. five all day, we might reach new heights. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Knocker on pink and black. You heard the sigh, and the cue ball might be in here. Ooh, just stayed out. Now, Jimmy White played a very poor shot on the pink and black in the frame that Stephen won. One cushion here. Ooh, 
a religious date. Careful, Jimmy, doesn't end up in the, the horrible snooker in a few shots. <laughs> Goodness me. It'll be the worst thing imaginable. Pink, just to creep in behind the black, it's an outside chance. A squeak here, twice across. Good effort. to an end. Not yet. Difficult snooker because it's just got that look about it. He hasn't put this frame away yet and it's on, although not at that speed. thing this is close this is in this isn't over yet in the evening before but there's some creek Finals, anything else, just that one match. One. Well, that will cheer Steve. Let's come back from our know, bathroom break as a totally different player. I always what? felt, uh, Dave, that when they found out, and that was sheer determination that made that happen. Still see his eye. Well, that looks to be oh, I thought he played a good split there. See Henry, twenty seven. We have a special programme as well that Rob Walker does that's available on the app. And Reds to go out after this one. So, one. second chance here. Through, and even when he dropped out the top 16, he's still qualified. No. But to come. Now this we're not assuming anything. I don't I think we're mad to do that here, right now. I think he'd be better for the for the match under his belt. This has been like no other in this game tonight. Another opening, forty one in front. Oh, that's good. That is brilliant. Why? 
That is brilliant. Is that... Well, he's hit that one. Six. Chances this frame. He just put glue to the reds. The professional match. Yes, he just. Twenty-one. Well. It was very difficult, I think. A classic in terms of break building, but it's been engrossing from start to finish. Twenty-nine. And listen, every sport, the entertainment they've given us over the years, it's been a real pleasure to watch them again. The way he's put himself into the second qualifying round, may have to rely on another World Snooker wild card. I get the feeling it will come. Stephen Hendry's main thing is, for arguably Snooker's greatest ever winner, he has won. Hendry, 52. It's at the hands of Stephen Hendry in the World Championship.